everybody. This is Tim Kraus. I'm uh, coming to you today. I, by the way, um, I, you see in the background, you saw this in the last video as well. I, my wife finally convinced me that I should move out of her craft area and, uh, you know, kind of go into a different area of the house. And to help me with that, she exchanged a little bit of information. I'm using a little bit of a different uh, microphone setup. She bought it for me for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to use that uh, for the first time here to uh, do a video. I sure hope it's it works out well. But at any rate, I uh, wanted to give you a heads up and let you know today we're going to talk about Ron Spencer. Now, he's a message minister. This falls into the categories of interesting things that message ministers say. Uh, on November the 1st, 2020, Ron preached a sermon where he talked about the prophecy or the vision about the woman in purple, about the woman that uh, William Branham had prophesied or had a vision of, and he, uh, well, I'll let, I'll let you look at the video, and then again, we're going to take a look at his new understanding of that vision uh, or prophecy as of April the 17th, 2021, when Ron comes out and makes a different statement about that. I'll show you that video as well. And then at the end, just for fun, I'm going to show you a video where Ron was speaking on April the 11th, 2021, and we'll talk about that for just a moment as well. So here we go. I'm going to roll the first clip. It's uh, Ron Spencer, November the 1st, 2020. So here we are. I'm also going to put all, like a normal, I'm going to put all the videos down in the description block on my, uh, on my uh, Google Drive. You can uh, take a look at them in context, make sure that we're not taking anything out of context. We're going to go ahead and leave them there as well. So, uh, at any rate, first clip. Here's Ron, uh, November 1st, 2020. So, here we go. Someone told me the other day, said, what about that beautiful woman that Brother Branham talks about in the White House? When is that going to be fulfilled? Have you been asleep? Have you been asleep? Miss Universe has been Miss Trump. The last four years. Okay, so that's Ron Spencer's video clip from November 1st, 2020. Now notice, Ron is very, very clear about who the lady is or the woman is in William Branham's vision. Obviously, you haven't been paying attention uh, if you don't know that that's Melania Trump. So just, you know, just keep that in mind. We're going to play the second video now. This is him on April the 17th, 2021. Uh, it's at the Lafon LaFontaine Church. Uh, and here's Ron helping us again with an understanding of that vision or that prophecy. So here's the second clip. Let's go ahead and play that. <laughs> Even the other day when a vision was fulfilled and there stood a, a woman in a purple dress even our critics said it was blue. It's the same spirit that Moses had to face. They can't look at a vision for itself when it fulfills and it's just so plain. All right, now obviously there's a little bit of a difference there between Melania Trump and Kamala Harris. Uh, and, you know, bless his heart, he, you know, but he, look, he comes by this honestly, because if you, if you take a look at message circles, this, this vision or this prophecy was supposed to have been fulfilled by John Kennedy being the Catholic president back in the 1960s. So if everybody may remember that that's how that was fulfilled. Uh, then it was different, you have different message ministers talking about Pelosi because she's also a Catholic and in a position of power in the government. We talk about the Catholic Church. Some believe that is Joe Biden uh, because he is also a Catholic or professes to be a Catholic, although the American bishops are discussing that as we speak. But at any rate, we, we've got, just like when William Branham talked about the Trinity, he talked about the Trinity and the Godhead, and then he said, no, 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 there's no such thing as a Trinity. It's not in the Bible. Then he said, but, but the Trinity, God's in threes and and he talked about the Trinity again. So we're all over the board again with exactly who this is. And, and I'll be frank with you, 
I don't think a message pastor has any clue or any idea about exactly how to work with this because it, it happens so frequently in the message of William Branham itself where there are discrepancies and disagreements. Even William Branham's own disagreements with himself about what he said and, and what went on. So I just wanted to share that with you. I, I think it's an interesting thing that we see these moving goalposts constantly in the message. Yes, he's a he's a prophet of God, and everything he says is to be taken seriously. Oh, no, no, but he was just a man, so he made some mistakes. And, and then Joseph Branham coming out and, and saying, we you know, we don't care if it was a lie. It doesn't matter if it was a barefaced lie. We're just going to believe it anyway. So the moving goalposts are nothing new in the message. This is very, very common ground in the message. But it, it, it my, my point here is it goes to show you that they, there is no word of God in this. There is no bringing it back to scripture in this. And so there's, you know, it's it's all over the place. It's it's just it's contradictory to a fault. And it doesn't surprise me that this happens. This is the message of William Branham. It's contradictory not only with itself, but also with the very inspired word of God with the infallible Holy Scripture. So, um, anyway, uh, the last clip I'm going to show you is basically Ron Spencer telling us why we're no longer in the message. And I, I thought this was kind of an interesting clip. I'll go ahead and play that, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So give me just a minute. Here we go. Uh, this is Ron Spencer, April 11th, 2021. That's purple. For the sake of argument, the color that she had on was that color, and it was purple. <laughs> Brother Brown described what she would be, what position she would hold, what color she would have on. I don't think you need to argue with that no more. The reason that you would even argue with it is because you can't live right. The reason people didn't want Brother Branham as a prophet is because they couldn't live what he was preaching. But it was a fresh wind. Okay, Ron. I, I just it, Let me tell you how I will respond to that, Ron. It isn't that we could not live up to the message. It's that what we discovered is the message doesn't live up to the Word of God. The message falls well short of the infallible and divinely inspiration scripture that we know is the absolute word of God. And our absolute is the word of God. And we take that very, very seriously. It's not a matter of not being able to live up to the word of God. It's a matter of finding that the word of God is not in the message. It doesn't have anything to do with the message. So we're going to continue to follow Jesus Christ for our salvation and Jesus Christ alone. Now, you, everybody has the liberty to believe what they want. We just think the liber that the what they believe for their salvation ought to align with Scripture. So, we listen. God bless you. This is typical of the Scripture where it moves all over the place, and nobody can kind of get a handle on exactly what it is. Certainly, Rod contradicts himself, and and other me message ministers are completely off the off the road on this as well. So. Uh, just wanted to share this with everybody. Thought it would be an interesting video. Uh, I hope everybody is having a great 2021. Look, we forward to seeing you again, and uh, we'll look forward. And, and by the way, thank you for continuing to send these clips to us in emails. We really, really appreciate it when you do that. It gives us an opportunity to respond. So thank you. You guys have a great afternoon. We'll look forward to talking to you again now. Bye bye. <laughs>